Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Wellborn Distinctive Storage Solutions Closet Designer video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use Pro Kitchen Closet Designer along with the Wellborn Distinctive Storage Solutions catalog to develop a closet catalog. I have a 3D of a closet open in front of us. Uh, this closet may look very familiar to you Wellborn users. If it doesn't, I'll jostle your memory at the end and you'll see where it's coming from. So without further ado, let's get building a closet. I have my layout here for us. I went ahead and took care of putting in the walls already. And so once my walls are in, in order to get into the closet designer part of Pro Kitchen program, we can highlight a wall and I'll go ahead and click on our closet designer icon which is over here on the left column and it opens a section up here on top for us and we'll just run through this really quick um, of course we've got um, our open template, save template, zoom in, zoom out, zoom to fit, all that good stuff count of sections so as we place the closet in sections um, we can tell how many sections to place before or after the previous section, this is our placement button and our removal button and cut and copy and paste and delete component. And you can select the component to delete. There is none up there at the moment because I don't have one highlighted down here. Um, and then the undo button. Um, our limits, this takes us to our wall here. We highlighted this wall when we started, so it automatically posts our limits up here for us, which is our wall dimension. Um, if I did not highlight my wall before I started, this would be 9 foot by 9 foot. And you could set your limits and, or set it to the wall. Here's our list of actions, all the actions that are available under our closet tab. And then we can sync this with our layout. Default section, this is actually how we set the some of the closet pieces and parts, um, except for the tower kits, they play separately. Um, and so we can come in here and we can tell how wide we want our section, how deep we want our section, and the height of our section. We'll just go ahead and select that as 84 and 24, because I know that's what my first one's going to be. And floor standing, we can either mount it floor standing or wall mounted. We can tell the clearance. We can add shelves, top and bottom, and our toe kick heights. And if there's alternative verticals available, we can turn those on or off there. And then our section, this is once we place that section, we can edit that section um, by removing panels, setting panels, placing corners, bridging to another closet, whatever we need to do. Um, once we have that section in there, we can also set doors. Nothing shows here because we do not have a section highlighted. And once we place the section and highlight it, then if there are doors available to fit that section, they will show up here. We can tell it how to hinge those doors and whether they're upper and lower doors, um, whether we want a fixed shelf at the bottom of those or not, and what catalog to use. Shelving is the same way. Once we have our selection selected, we can um, choose whether we want adjustable shelves, fixed shelves, shoe shelves, catalog shelves, um, how many to put in, whether they're placed evenly, upwards from the bottom or downwards from the top, and an interval to place those at. Replicate places those for us. We can also add dividers if we would like. And then hardware. This goes ahead. If we add our hardware, it'll automatically add how many suspension rails we need, how many hangers we need, how many support fillers and stuff like that that we need. And so to get started here, we're going to click on our defaults. I've already set the width of my first one, the depth, and the height of it. I do want it to be floor standing, and I do want a shelf at the top and the bottom and a 5-inch toe kick. So I am going to go ahead and play, click on Insert Section, and it pops that section in right here for me. Now, while I'm in this section, I want to go to my shelving, because you can see there are no shelves in this. And so I want to go to my shelving. I'm going to add adjustable shelves, automatically, evenly spaced, 10 inches apart, replicate. There's all my shelving. Um, I placed a 24 inch, so it's a little small for dividers. No need to put them in there. And now I need to change, actually, the size of this. So we're going to go back to our section. And we're going to select 
a section, an action, and we're going to change width. And apply. And it's going to ask us what we want to change it to. Now 15, 18, 24, 30, 36, these are the standard sizes that everything comes in over here in our catalog. So we are going to do a custom width on this one. And my section width on this needs to be 20 inches. So I'm going to type in 20 and I'm going to hit OK. And that automatically resizes us to 20 inches. And if I zoom in down here, we can see that. Now, that is how to place a standard item. This is instead of coming in here and grabbing inside and outside panels and placing them on and then adding our shelves, we do it all as one quick and easy section. So now we're going to take a look at the tower kits. Wellborn has gone ahead and developed these tower kits, which makes it very easy to build sections. They're already pre-built, pre-designed for you. So to get started with, we're going to grab a double hang. And in this double hang, we want to make this guy a 37, 84, 14. And so now you're just going to drag it and drop it out here onto the layout or onto our closet. And now I want a single hang tower kit. And I want this one to be a 25. And again, we're just going to drag it right out there. Whoops, see if you place it on here, it doesn't show up there. So we want to drag it out there and place it on our closet. And then it shows up on our layout. Zoom out down here so we can keep seeing things as we go along. Okay, and now we're ready to go around our corner. So we're going to go back to our closet. And we're going to select an action. Oops, wrong action. Now we're ready to go around the corner here in our closet. And so under our section tab, instead of change width, we want place corner section. And we're going to go back to our defaults, make sure that we have the right height in our defaults, and section and apply. Corner section width, we can either choose a 27 or a 30. Those are the two options that well, Wellborn gives us. So we're going to choose a 27. And then we have the option of radius or diagonal. And we're going to choose the radius. And there we have our corner section blasted in there. Now we need some shelving in that corner section. So we're just going to come up here and hit replicate. I already had it set for adjustable shelves, automatically counted evenly at 10 inches apart. Blast them right in there. Now, we are ready to build our other closet wall here. So I'm going to highlight this wall, and I'm going to do the unthinkable, and I'm going to close the closet designer. And now with this wall still highlighted, I'm going to open the closet designer. Now we're on our new wall. We can tell that by going to our closet. We have our width of 117 inches. Width of 117 inches. Yep, height of 96. Perfect. Reset our default for our height so we don't end up placing something short and stubby in there. And we're going to again place a couple of tower units. And so this time, instead of the single hang or the double hang, we're going to hang this shelf and drawer tower kit. And so this guy comes with the, the uh, closet on top and the drawer underneath. And a 31 inch wide is what we want to place in here. So we're just going to grab it and drop it up here. And you'll notice that it drops it in the corner and does not attach it to our corner section. So in order to do that, we come over here to section. And whoops, we want to go to closet and align left. And we're going to apply that. And then we want to hit set margin and apply that. And it's going to ask us what we want that margin to be. And I want that margin to be 27 inches because that is how wide our corner is. And I'm going to hit OK and it automatically bops us over there 27 inches. Now our corner is tied together nicely. Going to place another one of these hanging double hanging drawer corner units. <laughs> we'll get that guy out there and again it's just drag and drop. And now we're ready to go around our corner. 
And so we go back to section, place corner section, place corner section, apply, 27 width, radius corner, and my new corner section is in there. And now we're ready to build our final wall. And so again, I'm going to highlight the wall now. Whoops, wait, 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 we better add some, we better add some shelves over here. I forgot the shelves. So we're gonna to go to shelving. We got our unit highlighted. You can see we highlight as we come across here and click on them. Um, you can come in here and you can delete items if you need to, but we don't want to, we wanna add. Adjustable shelves, replicate. There's our 10 adjustable shelves in there. Now we're ready to jump around the corner. All right, so I'm gonna highlight my wall, close my designer, reopen my designer, and we are on this wall. We can double check by coming back here, 110, 110, yes. Set our defaults back to 84, just to be safe. Um, now I know the only things that we've set so far that use those defaults is our corner units and our beginning unit. But for this last section, we're gonna set some more units and show you how to build a unit manually and add doors and, and drawers and all that good stuff. Um, so coming off of here, we are going to build a section and I want this section to be 30 inches wide, 14 inches deep, 84 inches tall. I want it to be floor standing, I want shelves top and bottom and a toe kick. So I'm gonna add it right there. And again, you notice that it hides back in the corner. So I'm going to come back to my section, and I'm going to go to, whoops, I don't want section. I want closet, set margin, apply. I want it 27 inches. Okay, automatically moves that over there 27 inches for me. And now on this unit, we're probably going to want some shelving in there, but I don't want to add my shelving quite yet. I'm going to go back to my defaults. I want another 30 inch unit in here, floor standing, all that good stuff, add it, boom, there it goes. And now you'll see if we scroll in here a little bit, I've got 20 and 3 quarter inches left over there. So I need to add a unit again, and 30 inch obviously is too big, 24 inches is too big, so I'm going to add an 18 inch, and boom, there we go, and now we can change the size of that guy. So we need to go back to our section tab and we're going to change from place section to change width, apply, custom width, okay, 20 and 3 quarters inches. And there we have our corner blasted in there. I'm going to zoom back out so we can see that wall again. And now over here, we're going to come back and I'm going to pick on this guy. And on this guy, we want to add some doors. And so I told you when you had one selected, if it had doors available, it would show you. And this one does have doors available, but it's not showing me those doors. The reason being is that this is for hinges left. And for a 30 inch wide, we all know that we need two sets of hinges left and right. So here we go. We are going to just do a height of 29 inches. We want them on the upper. We want to insert a fixed shelf. So we're going to add doors. And there's our door. And now I want to add some shelves in here. So we're going to click on our shelving tab. And 10 inch interval evenly placed will work as well. So we're just going to hit replicate and it's going to place my shelves right there for me. Now we can move on to our next section. And again, we want to add some doors here. So we've got the pair of doors. Um, let's choose, we'll do 35 this time. But this time we're going to do lower doors. And add doors. And there's our doors. And we can click over on shelving, replicate our shelving. And there's shelving in the upper half, 10 inch increments. Could probably come in here and remove a shelf. And you notice when I click on the shelf, it highlights it here and remove. And it took that top shelf out so you don't have that screwy little top shelf up in there. 
and we're all set. And now finally for our last one, we've got some hardware we can add our, whoops, we want to add our shelving again on this one. And we could do just one or two. Uh, we could do a shoe shelf in there. Yeah, 10 of them looks good. That's a lot of shoes, man. And so there's all of our shoe shelving in there. That may or may not be enough shelves for your shoes. I don't know. Plenty of shelves for my shoes and then some. So now we've basically done our complete closet here. Now we can go ahead and close our closet tab out. And if you want to come back and edit a closet, you just come in here and you right click, choose closet, edit closet, and it pops it back right up here and you can make all your edits. Um, you set your global specifications just the same as you do in Pro Kitchen uh, if you're doing a kitchen cat uh, kitchen design. And we're just going to pick a few out here. And oh, I got all the finish techniques on there, so this ought to be an expensive closet. And we'll close out of that and we'll pop up a 3D and see what we've done so far. Now here's our 3D. Looks pretty wild when you're looking at it through the wall. We'll zoom out a little bit. That'll give us a little better perspective of what we got going on here. Zoom out a little bit more. There we go. So here we are. We've got our nice drawer stacked ends in the end. We've got our double stack and our single stack. We've got our custom built section, we've got our corner section, we've got our corner section. We have our other two custom built sections in here, along with our massive shoe rack. So in under 20 minutes, we sat here and designed a well-worn closet. And you can go in and if you want it to look like it is their full built-ins without having the sheetrock behind them, you can add paneling back there to give them the full look. Um, of course, you can go in, as you saw in our other 3D image, you can come in here. You can add all sorts of fun stuff onto the shelves, everything you may need, clothing on the shelves, all that good stuff, and build a full, full closet that way. Um, and remember I asked you Wellborn users if you remembered or have seen this image before because you have seen that image before. I don't know if it's still in our literature, but this was a uh, display in the showroom. Probably still is. So we grabbed right out of the showroom literature and added this so you can see that we came pretty darn close. pretty darn close. So there you have it in a nutshell how to build a closet using Pro Kitchen Closet Designer and the Wellborn Distinctive Storage Solutions catalog. Thank you for watching.